Here is the spread machine. I'm just going to turn it on there by hitting the button there, having it plugged in. I did make some bread last night. I made some raisin bread. It turned out really good. Um, I just use that as a basic bread as well. I'm also making a white bread right now. And this is my uh, mixture for that. This is a three pound loaf. And I will say that the nonstick service worked really good. I was able just to dump it upside down and have my bread pop right out of there. So the nonstick surface is really good. You just have to be careful how you clean it. It is dishwasher safe. Um, here over to my features, the menu. I do have 12 features here for the quick bread and, or I mean not quick bread, but different types of bread. And all I have to do is hit there to scroll through there. So number four, you look down here, four is a whole wheat bread. So you, you have that indicated and you can go through there um, to the 12. I, I like using the quick breads and here is your indication for uh, the type of crust that you like. So going back to the very beginning of this, this is the light bread. That's the medium and that's the dark bread. And believe it or not, this feature right here is for a quick bread. As you can see, it changed the time as well uh, from the normal three hours for your your basic bread. So I'm going to put that back to light to make that light. The, um, also, these other features here are for if you want to make um, different things like dried fruit. You can make jam, yogurts, and you know, really get real fancy with your types of breads with this machine as well. Showing you inside. <laughs> Um, this is the inside of it. You've got your burner down there. It does have, <coughs> excuse me, two things to um, connect it to the motor to, to turn your breads here as well, which is really nice. You can see it's all connected to, to one system there. So one, it has a powerful motor, but that does turn both of them. And then you take your bread here, you put this in here. And when you do that, you will fill this in here. I'm trying to do this here with one hand. Um, you'll fill that lock in there when, it, when you get upset, right? I just gotta do it straight. It's really not that difficult if you have two hands. Um, and let me just show you this as well. You have your brushed um, steel over here on the sides. I really like that. Um, like I said too, here is your lid. Now, I wish that this lid would pop off for easy cleaning. That's for my bread the other night. It does have a nice large viewing window for that. And up here, you know, the smell of your bread comes up. It smells really good as it's cooking and as you can set a timer for it as well. So just going to pop this in here. Let me get that seated in there. There it is. It's locked in there. Um, has the handle then to pull it up when you're done. So all you do then, got it on my light bread. And then I just um, start the, the system here. And that is with this button right here. And then right there that starts working you won't be able to see real well because i didn't really clean it up that well um but it does a great job it did a great job on my raisin bread the other night uh it looks nice on the counter i love the look of the brushed stainless steel as well and most importantly it has the the um things down there it's a powerful motor cooks it up kneads it up bakes it all that so that's your features of this bread machine